mirror through a camera, I almost feel like it's some wrinkle in time, freaky dinky stuff, and I don't want to think about it because it's freaking me out. So, if you follow me on Twitter, you know what's been going on with Afternoons in June. If you don't, you're probably like, what's been going on with Afternoons in June? You guys know I was trying to put up a beauty or fashion video every even day in the month of June. They stopped for a little while. I put up my sad days video. They stopped for a lot, a lot, a while, a lot, a while. Is that a word? I don't know. Um, they stopped for a longer time, and now I am back, and I'm feeling much better. So, if you watch my sad days video, you know that I was just in a funk. Nothing was making me like smile or laugh. I just, I couldn't get peppy. I couldn't get excited about anything. I just didn't have that like zest that I typically have. I was even watching like funny videos on YouTube and like trying to get myself just to smile and laugh. And I would literally sit there watching like my favorite, like Marcel the Shell video and just be there like this. And I was really like not happy about it and I didn't think I was sick. But then it hit me all of a sudden like a freight train. I ended up going to urgent care on Monday and I remember telling the doctor, I was like, I feel so bad right now. If you could put me in a coma and knock me out for the next year to get over this pain, I would give up a year of my life to get rid of this. Like I felt that bad. Literally my entire body was aching. I had a horrible migraine. My tonsils were so swollen. I literally like it was hard for me to breathe. Like I couldn't speak to Elle because I was like not being able to get like enough air into my body, which I don't even know how that makes sense. But I, I was just like, and then I was having a panic attack because I felt like I couldn't breathe and my hair looks really bad right now. Good thing I'm doing a hair video. Um, anyways, yes. So I was very sick. Um, she ended up not putting me in a coma for a year, luckily. Uh, she just gave me two shots, one antibiotic and one steroid, both in my booty, and they hurt so badly. It's not like a flu shot. Like those are just kind of like a little sting, you know, like not that big of a deal. No, these were like big needles and they went really deep into my butt, which does not sound right. But um, I can just see someone like cutting that section of the video. Like it went really deep into my butt and then just replaying that and that would be really funny. Someone do that for me, please. Okay, so um, basically totally bruised my butt and then I got four different medicines that I was taking and I'm still taking them. Um, but I woke up this morning and I'm feeling a lot better. So I'm so ready. I have a lot of videos to catch up on, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it together because you guys are going to leave me some requests to help me figure out what I'm gonna film. Sorry, that was a long intro, but it wouldn't really be a true Juicy Star video if it didn't have a rambly beginning. Um, so today I'm going to show you my three favorite hairstyles that I do in the summer. When it's hot, you're gonna get sweaty, you're going to the beach or the pool anyways. You don't wanna spend a bunch of time on your hair. I personally like wearing my hair up or away from all over my neck most of the time. One of the hairstyles is more down, but two of them are up. Um, so I will go ahead and get started because I probably shouldn't ramble any longer if that would be a good idea. So the first hairstyle that I'm going to show you guys is my favorite inverted braid. Now if you've seen my tutorial on this, then you might want to fast forward to the second um, hairstyle tip thing that I'm doing for you guys. Um, but this first one, in case you guys have not seen my video on the inverted braid, this is a braid where you do not need a hair tie. It's the type of thing that if you are running around, you don't have a hair tie with you, but you really just kind of want to get your hair away from just being all down and stuff, you can do it on one side. And I like to do mine on the side where you have one um, or more hair coming down this way. And then you want to separate it into three sections, just like you would a typical braid, but you don't want to pull your finger fingers all the way through. So if you can see, I'm not pulling my fingers through to the end. And then when I do my braids, I always like to start with the front section first because I feel like it kind of pulls it out of your face. And then I'm going to keep braiding, but notice that the bottom is kind of tangling up a bit. You think it's tangling and you're like, oh, I need to brush that out. Don't do anything with it. And if it's a little bit messy, you can kind of tuck and bobby pin in a second. Um, okay, so. Still, you know, just going on with my braid. Now when you get to the point where you feel like you can't go anymore, like it's basically just at a dead end, and you're like, I really wanna brush this huge knot out of my hair. Instead of having a knot at the bottom of your hair, what has actually been happening is an inverted braid has been happening. So we are going to flip it through this hole right here, which is going to uninvert the braid, and it is going to hold itself and now it looks super pretty and it's perfect. 
and I'll get close so you guys can see. Why am I speaking in a weird accent? I have no idea. So this is one of my favorite hairstyles to do. You can really kind of like pump up the volume. You can pull some pieces out, not that big of a piece. I would not pull that big of a piece out, but you can pull some pieces out around the front. And this is something that you guys saw. It was so quickly. I do this when I'm like sitting at red lights in my car and I'm just like, Board, which I don't recommend doing it while you're driving unless you're not actually driving unless you're in the passenger seat Then I guess that's okay. All right, and then to take it out. It's very simple. You just kind of start pulling and yeah, it just comes out. Okay, so that was my first one. That's the inverted braid and I absolutely love that one. Now the second one is if your hair is greasy and you're like, I could wash it right now or I could go to the beach where I'm gonna get sweaty and gross anyways. So basically hat day, hat days are awesome. So obviously you can just take your hat, I like fedoras, and wear it like that, you know, hair down. But like I said, I don't like my hair all over like my neck and stuff as I'm out frolicking around in the sandy meadows. So what I'm going to do is just gather all of my hair into like a low ponytail and pull it over to one side. Again, I like this side better because this is my more favorite side of my face, so I want more details to be on that side. Is that weird that I have a favorite side? I feel like, I mean, if you're like taking pictures with your girlfriends, I feel like everyone really has a favorite side. Okay, so now I'm just going to start twisting. You guys can't see that. I'm wondering if you can see this. Oh my goodness, I'm scared you guys can't. If you can't see it, then I am just twisting the hair in a little spiral and then I'm going to twist it around itself and then I'm just going to take some bobby pens and start pinning away. I can actually get away with just doing like two bobby pins in my hair for this but if you want it to stay through like the wind and stuff like that I would recommend doing a few more. So again I'm just bobby pinning this down and then I put the fedora on and I pull some little pieces out around because I don't want it to be super perfect and you have whoa what is that bobby pin doing sticking out we're gonna pretend like that didn't happen because it didn't happen what am I talking about what are you talking about I don't know so that is my second look that I absolutely love I'm wondering can you guys see that I'm just going to take this out so I can show you guys the third look which is the look that has um, more hair down than the other ones has about half of my hair, if not more, down. So you can do this with the natural texture of your hair. I haven't done anything to my hair today. I kind of wish I had like curled it, but I was just gonna like, look how frizzy it is. Oh my goodness, I need to do something with it. Um, anyways, yeah, what was I saying? I don't even remember. Um, oh, natural texture of your hair. You can do it with wavy, curly, straight, whatever you want to do. I feel like when I go out in the summer, the humidity and everything is bad anyway. So whether I straighten it or not, it's just going to turn into a little bit of a poof. So I don't do this hairstyle as much. Maybe if I'm going to be more indoors or if I'm going on like an afternoon date or a dinner date or any kind of day. What you want to do is take sections of your hair and we're going to start teasing. So I'm just going to spray some hairspray, take my rat tooth comb, and wow, I just sprayed hairspray towards a candle, guys, and it just like fizzled. That was probably not a great idea. Okay, whatever. YOLO, right? Okay, next one. Am I recording? Oh my gosh, I don't know why I just got so scared that I wasn't recording and I was like, holy moly. Okay, and the next one. So as you can see, you don't have to tease it that much, just a few little kind of like, you know, downward things of your rat tooth comb and you'll be good. And then you push it back and you kind of have this sort of little doodad going on. So now I'm just going to flatten out the top layer so it doesn't look like a beehive, even though beehive hairdos, saw it on the runway, it might be coming back, although I hope it's not. Okay, and then this is the part where you can kind of get creative. This is super cute if you wanna put it in a ponytail with a little bump. I mean, honestly, you can do anything with this look. What I'm going to do is take these front two little sections 
And I'm securing mine with a butterfly clip. You can use a bobby pin, you can use a hair tie, you can use a clear elastic, you can use whatever your little heart desires. And you can poof it up and tease it as much as you like. If you are in the South, Texas, go big or go home. If you're in Jersey, it might look a little bit more snooky-esque, which I'm actually not opposed to. I kind of think I like a lot of volume. I like the bump, but I'm also from Tennessee. So, all right. All of those were super easy. You can see that I finished all three of them while I was just rambling, talking to myself. Um, no, I was talking to you guys, but basically I'm in my bathroom alone talking to myself. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm happy to be back doing my afternoon in June videos. I'm going to uh, edit and upload this and I'm going to film some more today because I have so many videos that I need to catch up on. And my very last video, I'm doing a really exciting giveaway for you guys, which I am very excited about. So let me know in the comments below which one of these hairstyles was your favorite and which one you are most likely to rock. And then also let me know any requests you have for some afternoon in June videos. I'm already doing an updated makeup collection organization. I'm doing a closet tour. So I have a lot of fun videos that I have planned out for you guys, but I have a lot to catch up on. So I need your help with some ideas. So I'm going to go ahead and go. I hope you guys had fun watching this video and I will talk to you later. Bye.